Hi, boys and girls and aliens and cows and chickens. This is Ravenous Kells, and I am bringing you a sexy Moab gameplay that is not mine, unfortunately. Whose is it? Ugh. <laughs> Ravenous is Angels, I think. I don't I know who he him. is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> no, he's a cool-ass guy. I don't, how have you not heard about All him? All I heard is that he, he, went to he plays with his gummy bears and then he eats them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he does. What a loser! I think if they were real, they would like. I think if they were real, they would all want to kill me. <laughs> but <laughs> so cute. I'd eat them before they get the chance, so oh god, wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay, so today's topic that I'm gonna do with Angel because he's such an angel is why kids. It's easier for kids to live with their parents until they're about. I don't know, 15 or 16 or maybe even 17 or 18. And then why we as teenagers really want to move out because of uh, arguments or whatever happens with our family. And we're going to talk about why these things happen. So with my experience, Angel, oh my God. When I was a kid, I loved my parents so much. Not that I don't right now. I really do. But I loved them like a lot crazy more because they you know would feed me and buy me things that oh, well, so they don't feed you now no my mom overfeeds me now because i'm never home but i liked it back then things oh were simple gosh. like i my world was just revolving around doing like colorful things in my life like drawing and playing things and watching tv and then my parents i would always go to my parents and I don't know, whatever problems I had, my mommy and daddy would make me feel better because they understood me as a kid because all kids are probably the same, so their minds aren't really developed yet. So it's not like, oh my god, my five-year-old kid is so complex, I don't know how to raise him or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, so and then as I, I'm growing up and my parents are doing their own thing and I become a teenager and I go through different things and that's when most uh, of the relationships with your parents and you, it like starts to disperse. You guys branch off into a different path and all of a sudden your mom or your father is, you know, stressed out with work or whatever, you're doing your school stuff, your social life. And then all of a sudden, when you go home almost every night, you guys don't really talk and, oh, text message. And then, um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but yeah. Um, and then, no, I didn't okay, hear. Cool. I think the subs heard it because of the mic that I have. But yeah, anyways, um, you go home and then as a teenager, you're either playing video games, possibly doing homework, or you hang out with your friends, so you're probably never home. And so the relationship between you and your parents are completely like cut off already by the time you start doing all those things. And what makes... Yeah. Um, all of us want to move out when we're probably 18 is because one that's legal and we can do it but then we can't really support ourselves with no money and once that connection with your parents just cut off you feel like they don't understand you and they feel like you don't understand them and you start to argue more there's more family feuds nobody understands each other because everybody's so stubborn they don't want to talk it out or try to understand you know and that happened to my family so I'm always arguing with my mom it could be silly things or a big thing, like soup for one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she yeah. She makes me drink so, soup. I, I argue with her like almost every morning, like about stupid things. Like if, I, if I'm late to get up for school and my dad's still taking 20 minutes, she'll yell at me and like, get ready, you need to hurry up. But like other than that, it's like we're fine. I don't know, it's Yeah, weird. and as kids, when your mom tells you to hurry up and ready, of course you're going to be like, oh yeah, I have to get ready. But you know, you're older, you're used to it, and you know you have to get ready. Kids like forget what they're doing because they're so happy, you know? <laughs> so it's like yeah. so it's like they still treat us like we're kids sometimes because we're, we are their kids, but they don't problem with like parenting and I think I might have a problem with this too when I'm a mommy because I'm gonna always see my babies as babies but I'm gonna have or <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna have a hard time like comprehending has my child developed that experience yet like have they 
been through that? Do they know this and that? It's like, I don't know if I should approach them like this or that. You know, and it's like, for parents, they're, they're kind of scared to, like, talk to their kids because they don't want to be pushed away either. And so... Yeah, they don't want to, like, get in, like, all their business. Yeah. But me and my kids, we have great relationships, so, you know, I don't see a problem. But yeah. What? No, you don't have kids, but you, you have play I, kids and whatnot. But you guys are the same age. Oh, uh, well, okay. Okay, they're not my real kids, but you know what I mean. We have a great relationship. <laughs> I mean, they talk to me about their problems, and I yeah, help them. Yeah, because you guys are the same age. And if they don't listen to me, I spank them. <laughs> Only like two years different. Your parents are like, fifth have fifteen twenty years on you, <laughs> or more more than fifteen years actually um, maybe like twenty five. Probably 30 more. Years. Yeah. But that's like, I got like forty or something, and I'm yeah, 30 18. Years I don't on know. You. My mom just turned forty. That's a lot. Yeah. So yeah, and um. Yeah. Oh, moving out though. As much as, see, what I'm going through right now, I'm already off campus, so I don't live with my mom or dad, and I love it. That's what I, I want to do. I love it. I love not having my mom behind me yelling at me, telling me to drink soup, because I swear to God, one day I'm just going to drown in all the soup <laughs> she gives me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, I can't stand living with my mom as much as I love her, because our bond basically ended when I was becoming a teenager but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on that bond with her and talk to her more because she doesn't understand my level of maturity like she doesn't understand that I've experienced so much things and she has not caught up to it yet and we have that problem but I'm gonna try my best and I hope she does too to like communicate with me and even when I get older you know we're gonna have like family get-togethers on holidays or oh oh crap oh <laughs> That's no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. It's okay, guys. Yeah. I turned it yeah. off. I turned it no, off. no time for your <laughs> stripping moments right now. This is important. <laughs> Sorry, that was a client. Yeah, <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> That's an interesting ring. We have to make a living somehow. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, cause, sorry, I cut no, you no, off. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I feel like I'm talking way too much, dude. I need to shut up. Oh, no, it's fine. Well, you want to tell... I feel the opposite about what you're saying. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but to me, Aww. like, I'm a mama's boy, right? So, like, living without Aww. living without my mom is, like, I think it's going to be the hardest thing I'm going to have to do in my life because she pretty much does everything for me. Like, she feeds. I, I, honestly, I, I don't know how to cook. Make, I'm useless. I am, like, a useless person. She does everything for me. Like, I'll ask her to, if she can make me something. She's, like, without complaining, she'll just do it. She never complains once, ever. And I, I just don't know if I could, like, deal with it or not, but I'm going to have to because I'm growing up now and I need to start uh -huh. becoming more independent. But I'm going to miss her so much because, like, I love her so much. And if I don't see her, like, for a long period of time, I just don't know I'm going to handle that. So I, that's what I want to do is I want to, like, uh -huh. go off campus too, but I want to, like, stay somewhere close by home. So, I, like, I can visit, like, uh -huh. on the weekends and stuff and, you know, see her because she's, like, the most important person in my life. And if I didn't have her, I wouldn't have anything. So, that's... That is so sweet. Aw, Angel, I didn't know you felt that strongly about your mom. What about your dad, though? What's the relationship between you two? Oh, God. That's, that's, that's quite the opposite, actually. I wouldn't mind. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, me and my dad are, um of two different people and the way like we we don't have the greatest relationship but it's not like bad like where we get along and we joke around, but me and him honestly are two different people and i he really gets on my nerves and i get on his nerves sometimes so we always get into arguments and and we're like constantly uh -huh. fighting but you know i still love my dad and even though he's not always the greatest father figure I, he he does the best he can, and that's wow, what I'm happy. Angel. That's. I don't know why my. By the way, I think she just leave it. Oh, hold on. Sorry, my mic. I heard everything though. <clears throat> Sorry, but my mic just messed up for a second. Oh, dude, that's weird. With my dad, I like 
never get to talk to him and I don't think he really wants to talk to me and we're just so different but we have the same sense of humor that's about it just the same sense of humor not that he talks about dicks all the time but yeah <laughs> my dad um, we, we, yeah we, we pretty much make fun of my mom and my sister Aww, that's but yeah um um uh, I think that's a part of life it's if we want to make the effort to make these relationships work not only with your husband or wife or your friends or your co-workers but with your family too because that's gonna <laughs> your life is always gonna be changing within like relationships there's always gonna be oh I haven't talked or seen you in a long time talked to you or seen you in a long time wow that sounded weird and <laughs> there's gonna be times where it's just like when you stay away from someone from a, for a really long time, especially your family, you're going to appreciate seeing them a lot more rather than you staying with them your whole lives and then you're going to resent them or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the time we have and I hope you guys take away from this and spend more time with your family because when you're older, you'll have your own family to worry about and take care of and bond with and you'll know what it feels like to be a parent. So be your best, okay? Bye, guys.